All right, it's September 9th, 2021, and we're here at the All Saints Church in Polly's Island, South Carolina, where Alice Flagg is buried, and a ghost story is formed around this woman. And they say if you come to her grave and leave a ring on it, you may see her, or she may even move the ring. And I came here yesterday and did a typical ghost story video on her, but I wasn't satisfied with it, so I deleted it this morning and decided to come out here and do another one. For those that don't know, Alice was a young woman from a well-to-do family who was living with her mother and her brother. Her father had already died and her brother took over the finances of the plantation I believe they own locally around here. But Alice had fell in love with this man and he proposed to her and gave her a ring and the whole deal. But her brother didn't approve of this man, didn't think he was good enough for her. So Alice had taken that ring and put it on a ribbon, tied it around her neck and put it down in her dress so he wouldn't know. But her brother was still suspicious of her seeing him and decided to take her down to Charleston, South Carolina and put her in school down there. And while she was there, she caught malaria. So he brought her back home to be with her mother and he took care of her there. He was a doctor and he was, as he was caring for her, he found that ring and was furious and ripped that ring off her neck and went out back and put it in the woods. And the story goes that he was so mad that he didn't care for Alice no more and left her laying there and she died longing for that ring and to be with her loved one. And to boot, it is said that he buried her here in this graveyard with only her first name on the grave. That he didn't want the family's last name to be on her grave for what she'd done. I don't know whether that story is true or not, but there is a grave right here, just a flat stone on top that says Alice, so I kind of believe it might have been. And there's a ring that's, I don't know what kind of ring that is, somebody put something on top, there's another little thing there, but I've seen pictures online of rings and flowers, things people put here, and there's supposed to be a little ritual where you walk around the grave so many times and the ring will get moved, or Maybe even Alice would appear. But I'm not a big believer in ghosts and I hope Alice is not here. I hope she's up in heaven, happy with her family. Even her brother, who's obviously passed by now, maybe she found a way to forgive him. And they're doing good. I know all too many times we want to get scared and we'll come out to these little graveyards hoping to get spooked or see an orb or something like that. But We've got to remember these were family members and each one of these graves had a ceremony where everybody was sad standing around and crying and things like that and I don't think we'd want any of our family members wandering around a graveyard being entertainment for any of us and I don't think Alice family I don't think our family wants that either so if you come out here come out here and leave a ring out of respect I think that's great enjoy this beautiful cemetery with trees like this this one right here in front of Alice's grave and just remember that there were people all around here at that time as her service was being held crying and being upset that she was gone I'm sure she was a great woman just as all these other people were these are all brothers sisters mothers fathers children Just a great, beautiful graveyard. Without any ghost, I imagine. I think there was a sign at one time up there on that church that said, the only ghost here is the Holy Ghost. That's probably true. But I encourage you to come out here and walk around this graveyard and see all these old headstones. I'll leave a ring for Alice. Hope you enjoyed this little walking tour of the cemetery and the story of Alice. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you like, subscribe, and share. Y'all take care.